So I don't like our mind says to me like this. Go with it. Verse 31. It has been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a right of a divorcement. Yes, sir. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, save him for the cause of fornication, causing her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her, that is divorced, committed adultery. See what I'm saying? You put her away, only way you put her away is she committed fornication or adultery. If you put her away because oh, I don't like her no more, you're going to cause her to be in adultery. She don't go out there and get her little man. She can't stay by herself. Work it out. Most of them are like, oh, I'm going to get me a man. I'm going to get me a man. I don't care if you don't like me. You're going to cause her to be in adultery. It got to be between fornication and adultery. Let God take care of whoever that is. God took care of Abigail's husband. They bought right? He was foolish. And then she went to marry yes. David. Mm -hmm. She'll take care of God take care of him. You just Amen. don't mess yourself up. Right. I just don't mess myself up. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Let's go back to Proverbs chapter 6 and 16. Sigh and cry for all the abominations. Yeah, we know about the abomination of the unclean food. We know about the abomination of homosexuality. We're going to touch on that a little bit. We know about the abomination of put on women, put on men, clothing men, put on women, clothing. But this other stuff, we kind of lack it in. Somebody got to bring it out. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16, we'll jump to 19. Go ahead. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sow a discord. I'm sorry, you want to read 16? I'm sorry. Yeah. These six things that the Lord hate. Yes, seven are an abomination unto him. I just want people to hear that. Lord hate, hate, hate. We need to pay attention. Hate, he hate this. Seven are abomination. Jump down to verse 19. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sow a discord among brethren. Let's look at an example of sowing discord among brethren. Let's go to Levit Leviticus chapter 18. This right here really shows the discord of my brother. This is sickness that's going rapid in the world. We call this my pride month. A man can't marry a woman? That discord amongst the brethren. A woman can't marry a man at this court. You got a lot of people who co-sign with people. Oh, go on. It's okay. Y'all can have a child. All that baby needs is love. They don't care if it's two dads or two mamas. You are a lie. <laughs> you are a lie. That's abomination. Amen. That's causing discord. You need to get your wife. She need to get her husband. Let me show you how I call discord. Verse 22. Go ahead. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. You can't do the same thing with a woman you do with a man. It's abomination. And you, a lot of people sit up there thinking like, God, I forgot this. He forgot this. Go ahead. 23. Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is complete confusion. A woman lying down. You know what it is? A woman having intercourse with an animal. It's confusion. This is, this is what God don't like. It's abomination. He hates it. Go ahead. 24. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. The reason why they defile because we ain't on our job. Telling people, that's wrong, that's wrong. I don't care if they were here, you need to tell them. One out of a thousand, we might get one out of a thousand. Most we tell a thousand, we get one, we good. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. Go ahead. 25. And the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself vomited out her inhabitants. What do you mean the land vomited out inhabitants? All the sickness and disease in this earth. The land vomited out. The bread, everything is polluted right here. Nothing clean. And we feel that. That's why God said, I'm going to cut down the years. 
It started, we were living seven, eight hundred years by the day. Now it cut down to one twenty-five after uh, Noah. And then now it cut down to seven in our day. Because the land is polluted and we can't last. It's bumming now. Go ahead. 26. You shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments and shall not commit any of these abominations. Any of them. All, I just read a few today. It's much more. Much more. Go ahead. Neither any of your own nation nor any stranger that sojourneth among you. You got a lot of people trying to separate Israel. Oh, that's Israel law. But, you know, the Gentiles, we ain't got that law. Well, is that one law for all? If you want to go to heaven, to the heavenly kingdom in Jerusalem, you better be keeping this law. Amen. You better be. I better be. These are abominations that God said, I hate. Go ahead. Neither, neither any of your own nation nor any stranger that sojourneth among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done, which were before you, and the land is defiled. The land defiled. Go ahead. That the land spoon not you out also when you defiled as it spooled out the nations that were before you. See, a lot of times you don't know why people get attacked, get hurt. It's all about what they're doing when they violating this law. Abomination, when they abominable. God said, I gotta take you out, man. You spreading too much sin. Oh, I gotta paralyze you. You spreading too much sin. All these hurting things that happen in the world. Cause all this stuff is abomination. He can't, he gotta slow it down. If you cause them to go fast, he will take you out or do something bad to you. Go ahead. 29. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, I mean, any of these abominations, uh -huh. even the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among their people. He said he's going to cut you off from Israel. Right, don't play with it, man. We're going to put it on the table so you understand how to stay with Israel. Israel going to run the, the king for 4,000 years. If you're doing anything, think of that. You can love another man, you're a man. Think of that. You can love another woman, you're a woman. You're sick in the mind. You're on your way to hell with gasoline draws on. He ain't putting up with that. He said he hated it. Go ahead. Verse 30. Therefore shall ye keep my ordinance that ye commit not any one of these abominable customs mm -hmm. which were committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein. I am the Lord your God. He said, man, keep my ordinance. If you love your friends, you'll tell them. But if you don't love them, you won't say that. you just look at them like, oh, man, I want to step on their toe. They already know. How you know that? Have you told them? No, I ain't told them. I ain't going to take that chance. Who tell them? I approached a lot of homosexuals and told them, I said, man, you know that wrong? God don't like that. Yeah, I know. I spoke it. I know, man. Ain't no argument out of me. God took me a lot of uh, bold to just get up and tell you that. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. This is the last one. We got to cast all this evil imagination out of our brain. And how do we do it? We got to get with the word of God. That's how we do it. You got to get up with it, lay down with it, dream about it. Don't get mad at me, I ain't writing this. <laughs> I'm just a messenger. You shouldn't have read that. What? I shouldn't have read that. You think I'm going to go to hell for you? Nah, I'm going to be just the strictest out of all y'all. Strictest. He ain't holding no punches with me. He might hold a few punches with you. That's why medicine stand up here, you better be. Man, sometimes be thinking like, man, what in the world did I do? I should have did this. I should be sitting out there with y'all. <laughs> and boy, this, 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 this thing worries you sometimes. People think it's a glorified spot. Say no glorified spot. Say Greece chapter 10 and 1. Let me show you about this mind. Go ahead. Now I Paul myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, 
who in presence and base among you, but be in absence and bold towards you. So Paul tells me something. Go ahead. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. He don't want you to be bold according to the walking of the flesh. He wants you to walk in spirit and truth. Amen. Go ahead. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Mm -hmm. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. This is what we got to do. We got to pull down the strongholds out of our mind. But you got the weapon up. How was your weapon? There ain't no gun on eye. It's your knowledge. Amen. Weapon up. He want to go out here and buy a gun, knife, taser, and all that stuff. And still get somebody to catch you on a dime and take you out. You ain't had time to put it. But you got them angels. You understand them angels beside you. You know your weapons are already with you. Amen. Go ahead. Verse 5. Casting down imaginations. Casting down what? Imaginations. These imaginations. Evil imaginations in your mind. Cast them down. Go ahead. And every high thing that is on in itself against the knowledge of God. Against the knowledge of what? Of God. That's why we have to read so much in here. The knowledge of God, that's, that's supreme. We gotta make sure we line up every way, every way he wants us to line up through his knowledge. This ain't a personal attack on no man, no woman, no homosexual, no body. We just call a spade a spade. This is what he wrote. Go ahead. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Bringing into captivity with what? Every, every thought. thought. So every thought you possess in your mind, you need to find out. Did I think, did I sin against, against Jesus? Man, that's a high order to keep your mind in check. I got to be sure. Oh, did, I, did I put something in my mind I just want to put in there? I be repenting, man. I just repent. Lord, I don't know. Forgive me for what I just did and what I didn't do. I didn't understand. Because a lot of stuff I didn't understand. In the scripture, until I started reading it. But when you get knowledge of the truth, man, you start to get scared. Okay. <laughs> what? He said, work up to your own salvation through what? Fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. This is what we got to do. <clears throat> Go ahead. Verse 6. And having in the readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. He said, have readiness. To what? To revenge all disobedience. Get it out your way, yeah. man. Get it out. I didn't get. I didn't get. Give it out. You repent. You repent. Ask God to help you. Give you strength. Give me some strength. You can't do it on my own. I sure can. Go ahead. Verse seven. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts in himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again: that as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. You better be a good judge of spirit. The book said, try the spirit. Don't look at the album appearance. Mm -hmm. Try the words. How they talk. They can look good outside. You look like a good wife, a good husband, good children. But when you start opening that mouth, oh man, you ain't what I thought you was. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord hath given us for edification and not for your destruction, I should not be ashamed. Because we ain't ashamed of giving you this. It's edifying, making you understand. We ain't boasting. We ain't got nothing to boast about. This is the word of God. We boast about his word to edify our mind, give us the light, give us the understanding. So we'll know how to sigh and cry for all the abomination of the this earth. Amen. Get a shot and get in the Lamb's book of life. That's what I want. Go ahead. Verse 9. That I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. Mm -hmm. For his letters say they are weighty and powerful. But his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. See, these letters are way powerful. I mean, some of them, they go up and they, they saw Paul and say, man, this is the one who wrote all this. Right. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought it was going to be a big old muscle, man. He coming out of the corner. It ain't his statue. It's not his outer bit. It's what the words are telling us. Yes. That's the power. That's it? Thank you for your time. All right, we're going to take up the offering. We're going to end off that. Just make sure you understand how to sign and cry for all the abomination. Like I say, it's much more than abomination. 
then we just rode the bus a lot of them. So if you got anything you want to give, you can come up and get it. No. Israel, we have a dress code. Men and boys, no tank tops, no flip flops, shorts, muscle shirts, saggy pants, hats, ripped jeans, or slides. Women and girls, no slides, tank tops, halter tops, low cut blouses, no leggings, body suits, ripped jeans, no cleavage showing, no bra strap showing, no short skirts or dresses. Be mindful of your dresses and skirts because when you sit down, they can come up and show your thighs. This could be a distraction from the lesson. There will be no cross dressing. Men should not wear women clothing, nor women wear men clothing. If this happens, you will be asked to leave until you can dress appropriately. Romans 12 and 1 says, Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Cell phones and tablets. If you are using one during the lesson, please make sure you are not on anything that isn't pertaining to the lesson. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. Baptism reminder. Yes, sir. We're going to stand and close out. Repeat after me. Our Father, which are in heaven. Our Father, which are in heaven. Our Lord, be thy name. Our Lord, be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. Thou is the king. Thou is the king. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. And the glory. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Who's the king? Jesus. Who's the king? Jesus. What is the whole duty of man? Fear God and keep his commandments. What is the whole duty of man? Fear God and keep his commandments. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen.